And to get where we want to go, of course, we have to take action. We can't just sit around hoping that, you know, everything comes together for us. It's not going to happen. There is something that we have to actually do mentally and physically. So I made action into an acronym for the steps in my program. A has two meanings. A is for acknowledgement as well as acceptance. Acknowledging where you are now and where you want to be and the fact that you want to change is the first step in making a change and taking action. You have to acknowledge your current situation. You also have to accept your current situation because sometimes your current situation is the situation that you're supposed to be in. But your mind is, is stopping you from realizing that. You might be physically uncomfortable with where you are, but in the right place to be mentally better, but you don't know that yet because you're concentrating on the physical part. So that's what I also help you to determine. Um, the next step in action is to see, which is the cause. So I'm going to find out why are you, you know, having this obstacle situation or whatever, want to change, whatever it is. Um, my slogan, I forgot to mention, is overcome obstacles and become empowered. So when you're acknowledging, you're acknowledging these little obstacles in your life. And they could be big or they could be small. It could be like your family's not supporting you with something. Or, you know, it could be something bigger like the loss of a loved one or the inability to get past a certain um, thought in your mind. Mm -hmm. uh, so see would be the cause. And I try to not necessarily change the cause of it, but your mind about the cause of it. Because the cause is going to be there regardless. And the situation might, might even be there regardless. But the way you think about it can change. And that's what I try to do is change your mind. Because you're in control of your life. You're in the driver's seat. You're the only one that can make the changes in your life. No one else could do it for you. And when you let people bother you or you let people bring you down, you're giving them permission and you're giving them control over your life and you're giving them power. So what I do is I teach you how to take that power back for yourself. And how I do that is my T in action tool. The tools that I give you are life skills, exercises, could be things to write down, could be things to go out there and do, could be a schedule for you to keep, a journal for you to keep. Those tools are going to help you to change your mind and change your outlook. The next one is I, that's for implementation. That's where it's your job now to take those tools that I give you and go put them into your life. But it's definitely work on your part because I can't follow everybody around and make sure that they're doing everything I am. So it depends really on how bad you want it, you know, how well you're going to implement those tools into your life. And everybody works at a different pace. So some people might take more baby steps and some people might take bigger steps. But either way, as long as you're implementing them in some way, you're growing. 